Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 32 Bolos coming your way, items that these sellers bought low and sold for a profit. A lot of these are big money Bolos, so stay tuned. Um, I've got 16 featured members, so I'm going to go over their channel or eBay store with you. I'm going to tell you their big money bolo, and then at the end, we're going to have a speed round. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are Bolo Buddies members, which means they have signed up for memberships to get perks to be in the video at level two. So we are going to get started here. If you're interested in joining memberships for perks, there is a link down below. My channel is completely free, but if you want the perks, um, you have to join. All right, let's get started here. Let's get started. All right, the first item comes from Auctions for You. And if you guys are looking for reseller inventory, this is where you need to go. If you watch my channel, you guys see me do unboxings from T um, and Donatella Bottolino. They go back and forth on each other's channels. They are both linked down below. But I've got some amazing items. I'm always happy with my stuff. So be sure to check them out. But Auctions for You has been buying up a bunch of toy stores. Um, and she just bought another one. So stay tuned for more toys um, at her auctions. This item, I believe, came from a buyout, and this is a Department 56, and I know she has sold tons of these at her um, selling events on her channel, but this one she sold on eBay. It is a uh, Snow Village Uptown Motors Ford set of three retired. So let me show you the pictures here. Super, super cute. Um, if you don't know, some Department 56 items can be big money. Uh, a lot of them can also be bread and butter. So definitely do your research, but this is what it looks like here in the box. Um, this one, again, sold for $165.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from 1987 Ventures. Tracy also has a reseller channel, so definitely go check her out. Her channel is new, but she has been reselling a long time and has a ton of knowledge. So go and sub her up. This item is super, super cool. It is a Memphis era Bruce McDonald modernist tea ship teapot. Never seen anything like it. It's really, really quite interesting. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a spaceship or something. Would you have picked up this item or would you have walked right past it? Uh, she ended up taking a best offer of 200 on this. She got it at an auction house. She only paid $2 for it. Now, it was a little long tail. It did take her a year to sell. But if you ask me, that was worth the wait. $2 into $200? I love those margins. The next one comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. And um, she recently had a... She fell and got hurt. So she is taking a little break from YouTube. But you guys, please go show her some love so that when she comes back, you guys are subscribed and ready to see her next live show. She interviews resellers and she does listing lives and she also has reseller content. And she is just one of the sweetest people I've ever met. So go sub her up. Um, she sold this Little Kittles these two dolls. If you guys don't know about little kittles, they can be big money or they can be bread and butter. Um, but definitely pick them up if you can get them cheap because they do have, they do sell well, but look at their little faces. They're just teeny tiny, you guys, teeny tiny. And these look really good. You know, most of the paint's still on their face and, um, they look pretty good, but she ended up selling this for $35 and 46 cents best offer plus shipping. And her dad brought her over like a bag of vintage stuff. And it was on her last live listing, I believe, that um, she listed a bunch of this stuff. So if you want to learn about some vintage dolls, definitely go check that out. The next item comes from a friendly flea. And she does not have a YouTube channel, but she has an awesome eBay store. I'm going to show you a little bit of her eBay store right here. Lots of variety. And again, all of the links to the eBay stores are down below. So if you want to check out what they're selling, maybe make a purchase or check out their solds. It's a great way to learn and you might see something you want. So those are linked down below. Now she said that this was definitely a nice surprise. She had no idea this was a bolo. She picked it up at a thrift store for $1 and it sold for $174, you guys. 
NCAA football, Xbox 360, Walmart variant. Wow. 174 bucks for that. Super cool find. The next item comes from Be Carried Away. And Be Carried Away has an amazing YouTube channel, you guys. She is getting super close to 1,000 subscribers. So please go show her some love with a sub. She also is a moderator in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is, I think, at 52,000 members. So if you guys want to uh, check out my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, come on over. I think we're up to about six moderators right now. So it's growing a lot, that channel or that uh, group. This is her bolo. It is a, it says 850 vintage Barbie Burnett number six ponytail doll, red swimsuit, 1962, Japan. Um, she got this for a buck. So she was at a thrift store and she bought a Barbie case full of stuff for $10. So the breakdown was about a dollar for the item. This sold for $125 plus shipping. And there she is. So her paint looks pretty good on her face. And I'm just going to show you some of the pictures. Now on the bottom, um, there's usually a patent date. So you have to be really careful and make sure that it's the patent because it varies. So it can be confusing because some of the newer dolls will have an older patent date on it. She did a good job of taking a lot of photos. One thing that you want to mention when you're listing um, these Barbie dolls, uh, and the only reason I know this is because I've sold them and I get the question a lot. You want to tell if their legs snap in all three positions and hold. So definitely keep that in mind. All right. So flipping pallets. So this is pretty crazy. I'll just leave it here. I know that this video is up to 14,000 views. So she messaged me on um, Facebook and she's like, hey, my account got restricted. And I'm like, really? And um, she didn't, she'd never done a video where she was in front of the camera. And I'm like, you should definitely do a video. She's like, ah, I don't know. And I'm like, just do it. You can do it. You know, and I just kind of cheered her on. And you guys, she did it. And she did amazing. And the video has 14,000 views, which is fantastic. So if you want to know why she got suspended after 22 years, um, I think she had a three-day suspension, if I remember correctly. But it was for a product that she sold and she is just a wealth of knowledge. She also worked at the post office. So um, it's not showing here, but she just did a video on the different types of um, packaging supplies and materials. So that is super great for anybody that's newer or wants to learn about the different um, ways to package your items. And definitely check them out, Flippin' Palettes. And they buy palettes. And this item is called migra or migra leaf so it looks like it's a dietary supplement and what they do is they get these palettes and then they sell things in multi-quantity but she does say that sometimes she won't flood the market she'll just put a few out there and then as they sell she'll relist so she's got some great tips over there if you guys do palettes i know nothing about palettes I know that you want to make sure that if the item is expired, that you get it pulled off of eBay because you can get your account in trouble for that. Uh, she paid a dollar each for these um, and it was a pallet buy. Sold it for $28.99 and her co yeah, cost of goods was approximately a dollar. So what she said she does is she gets the whole pallet. She divides it out by how many listings she got and comes up with an average cost of goods per item. The next item was sold by Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop, and this item was actually sitting around her house for a long time, she said. She took a best offer of $150, and it's Lori Mitchell Collectible Bell and Lucky Bride and Groom figure, and they are resin. Check them out. Would you ever have thought that this was a $150 item? Pretty cute, right? All right. So that is Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. No YouTube channel, but an amazing eBay store. And let me just show you some of the amazing items in her store. Just fantastic. I, I, she sources some of the most amazing stuff I've ever seen. Just, just crazy. Okay. The next item comes from... This one comes from Leo's Treasures. No eBay store, but you can get to um, this area where it's a list. I, I went ahead and linked that down below. 
But again, just anybody need an Easter bunny? How cute is that? Those are a bolo for sure. Those bunnies, people love them. But again, lots of really, really great items. Super cute. Here's a little lovey. Never seen that one. Okay. So what did she sell? She sold this anime. Oh, I always say this wrong. Anime? Anime? I think that is. Gloomy Rabbit. Uh, Fantasy Fur Edition Japan. She got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and took a best offer of $80. And it has that. I th is that on the ear? I'm not really certain. $5.41. Never seen anything like it, but I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. GP. $80 plush right there. The next item was sold by Money Making Mama. And she has reseller content over here on her channel. Her big thing is she buys from a place called Dirt Cheap and she flips those items for a profit. Um, I'll show you an example in the speed round here at the end of something that she does. This is a Tonka, vintage Tonka Bronco. She got this at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for $109.99 on best offer. So she does a lot of the discount store um, bulk, uh, lots stuff up, but she also picks things up when she's out and about and sells things like this as well. So definitely check out her channel. The next item is antiques from Karen Janet. And I told you guys about her last week um, or last month. Her mom had a, I want to say it was an antique store for many, many years. And Janet Set, she calls it um, a hoarder's. I, it must have been a substantial amount of stuff. And she's slowly selling it off on eBay. And I think she also does live sales on, yeah, live sales on her um, YouTube channel. So definitely check her out. But she has, it's not like, it, it's vintage and antique amazing stuff. Definitely check it out. So let me give you an example here. This is one of the items. This sold for $350 best offer. It's a vintage Tyco HO scale NASCAR, new old stock, Days of Thunder slot car racetrack. I mean, I'm talking amazing, amazing stuff. And I'm sure, you know, there's stuff that's not as amazing that's probably bread and butter, but I have seen so many big money bolos that she has listed and it is just amazing. The next item comes from the Rebel Reseller. If you're not following her, you definitely should be, especially if you like plush. She sells other things, but she, I think she said she has like 5,000 listings that are just plush and that she paid off, she paid her mortgage last year with bread and butter plush. I want to say either eight to $10 items, paid her mortgage with that. So I know a lot of you guys skip those $10 and less items, but it is possible to make big money by selling, you know, a lot at low prices. So she does also sell things other than plush. I picked this one out because it is an aluminum aluminum tree branches, not the tree. It didn't have the stand. Um, it didn't have the pole, just the branches. She got these at an estate sale for 10 bucks and sold them for $125 plus shipping. The next item comes from Lombardi um, Limited. And he sells tons and tons of postcards. I want to say he picked up 5,000 postcards for $500. And I believe it was on Facebook. So he has pennies in a lot of these. But just fantastic postcards. If you guys are into postcards, go check his store out. Unbelievable. He sold this one. And Vintage Halloween is, if you can find those postcards, they can go for big bucks. He ended up taking a best offer of $225 on this one. And again, he had pennies in it. Um, greetings from Halloween. And if you guys don't know, if you click this little heart right here, that will save the seller. Well, did it not work? I thought it, like, maybe it did. I figured it would fill it in. I guess I've never paid attention. But you can save the eBay sellers. So again, they're linked down below. Go follow their stores so you can see when they list new items. This next one comes from Jack's Treasures. They are the storage units um, buyers. And they also do, um, they have, oh, what do you call them? Like the flea market. They have booths. Yes, that's what they have. And one of the items that they sold, and I love finding these, 
these are wireless and they interact with one another. So you turn it on and they they like play a song together. I've sold these before. They're almost always a bolo, at least in my experience. Um, I've done really, really good. But they got these out of a storage unit. The entire storage unit was $210. They sold this one item for best offer of $150. So pretty much almost made their money back with one item in the unit. The next item comes from Vintage Barbie. And she just put out her first video in a while. And she went to an auction and she did a walkthrough, a preview. So go check that out. Show her some support. She has 20 subscribers. She is brand new, looking to grow her channel. So go show her some love with a sub, you guys. She sold this uh, Barbie. Go figure. She is a collector. And that is why her YouTube channel is probably called Vintage Barbie. But this is some of her collection that she is selling off. And really, really cool Barbie. She ended up auctioning this and it sold for $317 plus shipping. It is a vintage Barbie American Girl Blonde with Japanese exclusive dress. The next item comes from Anytime Picker. And wait until you see this bolo. He has um, reseller content and he is getting super close to 500 subscribers. I bet he will probably be there by the time um, this airs but let's help him get to a thousand. So definitely go sub him up. He's got um, lots of lots and lots of content. Um, great bolo items. So go and check him out. This is what he sold. I love this bolo. It is a Bop It Extreme. It's a handheld electronic game from 1999. He got this at the Goodwill for $3.99 or $3.39 and he sold it for $199 plus shipping. All right, so now we are going to go, oh, nope, I'm sorry, one more here. Mutton Ridge Finds, this is her eBay store, no YouTube channel. Again, just a great variety of um, items for sale. Definitely check her out. She sold this DVD, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Does anybody remember that? From 2009, she sold this for $128 on best offer, and she picked it up at the Goodwill for five, or. 51. It's either 51 or five. I think it's 51. So she did pay up for it, but turned a nice profit on that. All right, here we go with the speed round. This one is Mutton Ridge Finds. This is a uh, teapot. Look, the mouth is a teapot. How funny is that? And then these are like uh, little, I think they're little cups. How cute. Uh, 1979 Vintage Vander Imports Japan Dog Teapot Salt and Pepper Sugar. So cute. Um, she ended up taking a best offer of 60 on this, and she got this at an estate sale in a box lot for uh, $5. All right, we are back to um, Anytime Picker. This is a Dakin Precious Moments plush doll from 1995. He sold this for $99 and he got it at the Goodwill for $4.59. And there's the little tag. The next item comes from Vintage Barbie. It's another Barbie. It is a swirly, excuse me, I'm sorry, swirl ponytail Barbie. And her makeup, look how good it looks. Still looks great. Um, vintage and tagged dress. And it sold for $211.50. This one comes from Jack's Treasures. It's a Monsters High, Sweet Screams, Frankie Stein, Retired and Hard to Find Doll. This one also came out of that $210 storage unit that I told you about earlier. And it sold for a full asking price of $108.42 plus shipping. The next item was sold by Lombardi. Oops, I'm sorry. What did I do here? Who sold the Dinobot? I obviously mixed up my things here, uh, my tabs. This one was sold by Antiques from Karen, Janet. Uh, this Dino, and her mom's the one that had the estate, sold for $200 on best offer. It's Beast Wars Transformers. Check him out. $200. 1995. Awesome. All right, this postcard, it is a Poughkeepsie, New York 
postcard. And this one sold on best offer for $52 and he had pennies in it. It was from that same lot. This one is the Rebel Reseller and it is a Rubba Dubbers Wyona Whale plush from 2003. And she sold this the same day for a hundred bucks. Got it at a Habitat resale store for $2. Look at that, you guys. Is it by Play School? Yep, Play School. Huh. How fun is that? All right, the next item. This one comes from Money Making Mama. And I was telling you, she gets the items at Dirt Cheap and she lots them up like this. This is Band-Aid Brand Hurt Free First Aid Antiseptic Wash Liquid Treatment, six ounces each. Um, she got these for 19 cents each at Dirt Cheap and sold these for a best offer of $44.95. And if you go to her store, you'll see that she does this all the time with different products. It's amazing. The next item comes from Leo's Treasures. This picture is La Soak Cremique. I don't know, Malika. Uh, it's a hand-painted picture. We're going to go with that. She got this at a thrift store for $2. It sold for $53.75 best offer and took one day to sell. This next item comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. It is a needle point. Uh, she got it at the Goodwill for $6.50 and it sold for $85. It is a needle point old man and the sea picture with a gold frame. This next item was sold by um, Flippin' Palettes. She said she paid approximately $4 each and it came on a pallet. She's selling these for $25.50 each plus shipping and she sold 13 of them, you guys. They're Philips Avent Natural Wide Neck Bottles. So it's a four pack of bottles and it's the pink edition. So I don't know, maybe um, pink sells for more than just clear. Who knows? Anybody know? The next item is from Be Carried Away. It is this beautiful vintage mid-century modern stretch persimmon orange glass vase. And it is swung. $4.99 at the Salvation Army and it sold for $178.62. The next item comes from A Friendly Flea. She This was an online arbitrage deal. So she picked these up online. So she did pay up for them a little. She paid 14 for them. And she has, I think she said she has another one listed. And she sold these for $99. And buyer paid shipping. That's a friendly flea. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. And it is Sunday Riley Good Jeans um, Acid Treatment Lactic, Lactic Acid Treatment All in One, One Ounce no box. Um, she got this in an allure box, which is, um, she gets these boxes and she takes what she wants and then sells what she doesn't want on eBay. But this sold for, um, $40 on best offer. And she had about a dollar 75 in this and the buyer paid shipping on that. The next one comes from, um, 1987 ventures, Tracy. It's a Delaware fighting blue hens, vintage Navy wool stadium football blanket. Took a best offer of 75 for this, and she got this at a indoor flea market for $4. And the last item is from Auctions for You. It's a 1954 GMC 950 cabin trailer, Coke inbox, Ertl, Great Dane, um, new and original box, 1996. Um, she got this in one of her toy buyouts and it sold for $88.99 and that is from Auctions For You. So again, if you're looking for inventory, go check out Auctions For You. If you want to see some of the unboxings I've done from Donatella Bottolino and Auctions From You, Auctions From You, Auctions For You, I do have like, I don't know, 10 to 15 unboxings. Um, I like to buy stuff from them and flip it for great profits. All right. If you're new here, thank you for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. I do have two other channels. I have Sourcing with Bolo Buddies and I have Reseller Testing Bolo Products. Um, on my Reseller Testing Bolo Products, I do live shows. So working hangouts, if you guys want to list with me where I list and then you guys can list and we can hang out in the chat, definitely subscribe there. Those links are all down below along with a bunch of other links. All of um, 
the members that were featured again are posted down below sub them up you guys they have awesome content also check out their ebay stores thank you for being here thank you for watching and again if you would like to join memberships to be featured in a video like this there is a link down below all right you guys thanks for watching